Hi there, welcome to Real Yoga. I'm Hannah, and today we're doing a super quick yoga session. I'm wearing my casual clothes, I don't have a mat, I have taken my shoes off, but this one's perfect for if you've been sitting on your butt all day, maybe you've had a big session in the office, and you just need to move your arms and legs and get a bit of blood flowing. So you don't need to grab anything, let's get started. So hopefully you've kicked off your shoes, and even if you haven't, it's no problem. You can do this stretch with the shoes on. Simply take a little moment here to catch your breath. So take a deep, full breath into your nose. And then sigh it out. And if there's something that's been bugging you today and you need to get off your chest, you need to do a little bit of a swearsies, a little F you, why don't you do that on your exhale? So take another deep breath in. And then exhale. <laughs> I'm not going to say it on camera because I'll get in trouble, but you know what to do. <laughs> All right. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky, interlace your fingertips, and press the palms of your hands away. Give yourself a big stretch. And now as you exhale, flip your hands back the other way. Drop one elbow. Keep the other to the sky. It doesn't matter which, which side. Nice. You should feel this deep stretch across your shoulder. Take another breath in. And as you exhale, can you pull your elbows back behind you? Just attach. Nice. Can you drop your lower elbow down even more? Ooh, sa, big stretch. Beautiful. Now stay here. Turn to the side, or I'm going to turn to the side. And I'm going to take whatever side my elbow is down, I'm going to use the opposite foot. So mine is my left elbow is down. I'm going to take my right foot behind me. Top of the foot points down to the mat. Nice. Take another inhale breath, and as you exhale, slowly press into your toes and feel this great stretch across the front of your foot. Beautiful. Keep lifting your chest as you inhale. As you exhale, can you pull those elbows back a little bit more? Nice. You can play with the action of the front of your foot, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Up to you, no problem. One more breath here. And then exhale, release your hands, take them to your waist. And now with that same leg, we're going to step it in front of us and then point the toes up and press the heel into the floor. Nice. For some, this is already going to be a big stretch across the back of your leg. Or if you like, take an inhale and lift your chest. And as you exhale, think about sending your booty back behind you and leaning forward. Any amount, you don't have to go all the way down. What's important here is to keep flexing your toes, spreading your toes wide and pointing them towards your face. Keep your heart long, so try not to collapse your spine here. You've probably done that enough over your computer. Can you instead roll your shoulders back, reach your heart forward? You should be getting a nice stretch in the back of your leg here, and at the same time, this big opening in your chest. It just feels good. All right. From here, slowly start to lift up, bring yourself back to center, and we'll do that little dance on the other side. So feet hips width distance again. Inhale, arms reach up, interlace your fingers, reach them up to the sky, big stretch. And this time as you exhale, take the opposite elbow down and up. Ooh, one side is going to feel different to the other. For me, this is definitely my sore side, my left shoulder. Can you pull your elbows back behind you as you keep lifting your chest? Nice. Find length in your whole spine, your whole torso. Usa. Again, should feel really nice. It shouldn't be too intense. Just a good stretch for your arms. And then you can stay here or start to add on. So again, opposite elbow that's down to your leg, if that made any sense at all. So my right elbow's down. Now I'm going to send my left toes back behind me. Pressing the tops of my toes into the floor, lifting through my heart. So I feel this big stretch, not only across the front of my foot, but all the way across the whole front of my leg. Nice. You can play with your own intensity here. Just moving and shifting your body around. That was my Australian coming out. <laughs> around in any way that feels good for you. Nice. One more breath in. And then exhale, release your hands, take them to your waist, and then flip your foot. So bring the heel down, point your toes to the sky. And again, you can stay here lifting your chest, lengthening through the crown of your head. Or if you want a little more in the back of that leg, take an inhale breath. 
And as you exhale, tilt your booty back as you reach your hot forward. Any amount, doesn't matter. Keep your toes really flexed. And again, if you feel like you're collapsing into your, into your spine, can you roll your shoulders back? Keep reaching your heart forward. Think about just tipping your booty back so your hips kind of collapse in on themselves, but not your chest. Your chest stays nice and long. Nice. Some of you might even be able to go down a little further. You're also welcome to bend the opposite knee if you like. No problem. One more breath here. And then come back to center. Beautiful. You can give a little shake. And then from here, take an inhale as you lift your knee in towards your chest. If you're wearing tight jeans like I am, it's probably not going to go out too far. And then give your ankle a little, few little circles in both directions. You might get some clicks and pops there, no problem. Sweet. And then flex your foot, cross it over your opposite knee, and then press your knee away from you. So you make a bit of a number four shape with your legs. And then here you can grab onto something for balance if it's a little wobbly, or otherwise you can start to bend into your standing leg and come down. You're either holding onto your desk or a chair, or you can take your opposite hand to your foot whoop, and press your foot into your hand. Nice, so there's a bit of a connection here. By pressing your foot and your hand towards one another, you're firing up that hip muscle. So this should feel nice for your hips. Again, you can play with the depth here, whatever feels right for you. We're here for one more breath. And then slowly start to lift up, release. Again, you can do a little shake if you need to. And then opposite knee towards your chest. Stand up nice and tall. Again, if your pants are tight, no problem. It doesn't have to go all the way to your face. Give your ankle a couple of swirls. Woo! Hello. And then cross that foot over your opposite leg as you bend into your standing leg. Now you can hold on to something again, but see if you can grab your foot with your opposite hand and press your foot and your hand towards one another just to activate the muscles of that leg. Whichever leg you're using, doesn't matter. We've got two, we can do both. Well, some of us don't have two. You work with what you're working with today. <laughs> Take one more breath in. And one more breath out. And then release, come back to center. Final little thing here, just to loosen everything up. Take your feet a little bit wider than your hips, bend your knees, and then we're simply going to flop our arms around like they're barely attached to our body. Bend into your knees. You can get your head and your neck involved. You can get your hips involved in any way that feels good for you. Let your arms be really loose. If everyone at your office is looking at you like you're weird, look at them like they're weird. <laughs> We're here for just a few more beats. Smile. It's all good. You got this. For three, for two, and for one. Make your way back to center. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Inhale, lift your chest, close down your eyes, and then exhale to bow your chin to your chest. Thanks for playing with me. Namaste.